Hey guys, how's it going? It's Murder here. I um, wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, Twitch chat lately and, well, connecting to Twitch chat via IRC. Um, as you might know, sometimes the Twitch chat gets a little bit broken and uh, things are delayed by a really long time, like minutes or um, some, some text never even comes through in the first place. And it usually happens during major events on Twitch, uh, probably the biggest of which we've seen being the... Um, League of Legends World Championship that's going on right now, uh, and I think they had like 400-something thousand viewers uh, yesterday, and it was causing some, some serious broken chat for uh, pretty much every stream out there, I think. I'm not sure if uh, basic partners and non-partners uh, get worse Twitch servers, essentially, than uh, the highest partners and the most important streams. You can only imagine that they would, but... Um, that aside, I wanted to talk a little bit about how you might be able to connect to my channel, or any channel uh, for that matter, but I'll show you how you can do it with my channel, and you can just change the name and connect to other channels as well uh, via IRC. You can use any IRC client, but I'm going to use HexChat because it's free and it's efficient, uh, so I'll show you using that, but if you, um, if you already know your way around IRC, um, really all you have to do is put... Um, irc.twitch.tv as a server name and uh, hashtag the, the name of the Twitch channel as the channel name and then your username and your password are your Twitch username and password and you can connect to any channel like that but I'll walk you guys through it a little bit just in case you're unfamiliar uh, with IRC or, or with HexChat or anything like that I personally am not a wizard on it I haven't really used IRC regularly in quite a while uh, but nonetheless here you go the uh, the LOL or LOL, or League of Legends, whatever the hell you want to call it, tournament is going to run like all week long, and then I think they've got some finals next week and stuff, so there's probably going to be quite a bit of chat outages, so I figured it's it's worthwhile to make this video now and, and show you guys what's going on. And you're welcome to use the chat now, or later, or always, or it really doesn't matter, there's no real downside to it, other than cosmetically, uh, things look a little bit 1990s. <laughs> but, that aside... Uh, this is the HexChat page. It's hexchat.github.io. I'll put this link in the description. And, uh, you know, if you want to look into the, uh, the client and get some themes, whatever, you know, you can do all of that. Uh, or you can just click downloads and you'll probably be using Vista 7 or 8 for Windows. And then you can get a 32 or 64 bit version uh, right there. Go ahead and install it. Um, once you install it, it looks like this. And you're gonna you're gonna bring it up. It's gonna look something like this. You can put your your nickname, whatever name you want, and then it just has a second and third choice in case somebody already has it. Uh, this doesn't really matter. Just put different variations of your name in here, um, and then you can uh, make your username the same as the nickname. This doesn't really hold weight for for what we're actually doing. Uh, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to add a new network down here. And, you know, a box will pop up for you to type a new network. You can just name it twitch.tv. Uh, sometimes it'll automatically bring up the next screen, or you can go and hit the edit button, which uh, brings up this uh, menu. So then you're going to up top here, you're going to want to add the server. Hit add, type irc.twitch.tv, and that will add the server for you. And then you're going to want to go to auto join channels, and you're going to add a channel. With, you know, it should automatically put in the hashtag for you. And you're going to type the name of the channel. So it's murder underscore TV would be my channel. Uh, you shouldn't need a key for it unless the channel's passworded, I believe, uh, which mine usually isn't. Um, same here if, you know, your other favorite streamer or whatever you want to add their channel, just go ahead and make another channel uh, underneath. If you want to connect to the network automatically when you first start up HexChat, you can. Uh, you don't really have to. This is completely optional. You can leave the rest of the stuff turned off. I believe use global user information is checked by default, so you're going to want to uncheck that. And then in both the nickname and the username columns, you're going to want to put your Twitch, uh, your actual Twitch, uh, you know, account name or whatever. Uh, this is where it actually matters, not on the other page. You can put other things in here if you want to, but you don't have to. And uh, you can leave this default. This is going to be your actual Twitch password. Um, so that's what it uses to log you in and know who you are and know what permissions to give you if you're a moderator of the channel or something like that. Then you can just go ahead and close it out. Um, make sure you connect using this button for the new network that you just created. And once you do, you'll see something like this pop up. You can move that aside or whatever. And then this is, this is the chat that's going on right now because I am actually streaming this. So these are people chatting. This is what it'll look like. This is what the join and leave messages will look like. Uh, this is the people who are currently connected over here. Whoops, pulled the wrong wrong one by username. 
um, these are the mods and so on and so forth. If you had other channels you can just switch them down in here um, and that's pretty much how it works. If you wanted to turn off those alerts you can just go into here, mess around, hide, join, and part messages and you'll just see the chat. This is what it looks like. This is why I said it looks very 1990s. Um, make sure you keep things lowercase other than your actual like login or password if they have capital letters in them because as you can see IRC doesn't really care for um, capital letters so that's another thing that you might want to take into consideration so this is basically how you get into it and it's it should be really straightforward if you have any questions let me know in the comments uh, send me a direct message uh, if the twitch chat isn't working or or what have you and I'll try to help you out or uh, hit me on Twitter at exitsmurderx. Uh, we will be streaming this evening. I'm hoping that the the ISP is like fixing the problem right now since I saw them working on it. I have no idea how how big of an undertaking it is, but hopefully that's getting fixed. We're going to be doing a giveaway this afternoon at uh, at eight o'clock Eastern since we just hit 2,000 followers overnight. <laughs> oddly enough, so uh, make sure to tune into that over at itsmurder.com or twitchtv itsmurder underscore TV. And uh, like I said, I wanted to, you know, basically do this for a very specific purpose of, of uh, teaching you guys how to connect to my chat through alternative methods during the, um, the League of Legends tournament. But like I said, you can use this for any Twitch channel anytime you want. So maybe you'll end up actually liking it. Who knows? Anywho, that's it for me for now. I'm going to go paste these videos together because my ISP hates me. And maybe by the time I'm done with that, they'll, uh, they'll fix the problem and then I'll have the stream back up uh, in a short while. So I will see you guys over there at itsmurder.com. You'll have a good one. See you soon.